Hi, my name is Mark Skelton. I am the art director here at Blue Point and was the art director on Shadow of the Colossus. My name is Marco Thrush. I'm co-founder and president of Blue Point Games. And I'm Peter Dalton, the technical director here at Blue Point Games. And here we're going to take a look at the very beginning of the game. So, uh, this opening shot, um, one of the things I wanted to do was make sure that Moon kind of handed off to the bird. That was kind of a conscious choice of a handoff. I guess the bigger overall thing for this was uh, we definitely wanted to encapsulate the original's kind of hero's journey um, and what he had to go through to, to get to the forbidden lands. Um. I think some of the things that you're seeing here is you know, a completely, you know, the environments are completely, the hillside completely remade from scratch, basically taking the original as a template and uh, adding on top of it. Yeah, we worried a lot about, on the visual side, scale, like trying to get the scale of things correct um, so that you feel like when you're moving around, you realize the, just the, the large, the vastness of, of what this environment that you're that you're moving through. The other thing that you're seeing is uh, everything's been reanimated uh, from the original to improve the uh, fidelity of the animations. Here's a good example where we added a decent amount of detail that was just not present in the original. Portions of the environment that they're just not technically capable of doing in the original game on the PS2, like having foliage move with the wind leaves of tree moves realistically, Agra's footsteps will displace grass, same as Wanda. Um. This was a fun shot, like going through all the detail, making sure that like the water ripples and we have rain. Yeah, this in the original was basically just Wanda riding along a flat plain with maybe a couple bushes here. Yeah. What I like is you can start to see some of the lighting improvements and stuff that have, you know, really kick this game off and uh, get it going in the right direction. And this is the final opening, opening going into the actual Forbidden Lands now. Yeah, all new physics system handling the uh, agro's uh, poncho and uh, horsetail physics. I like this shot here, it gives you that first sense of scale of just how massive the world is going to be with looking at just, just a small corner of it. And there was also a large, as far as visually, a color handoff from kind of the darker blue green to this more warm, inviting um, sun and uh, yeah, the sky was a big consideration too. Um, obviously in the original one, they had a very kind of punchy hole, like punched holes in, a, in cloud sky, big overcast uh, with bright spots. We wanted to make sure that we brought that back in to, to this version as well. And here we are finally on the title screen. Uh, so obviously this was just a small teaser, the opening of the game. Uh, we hope you get to enjoy the full game when it comes out in February 2018. PlayStation.